I am back with another hotel review. This is going to be the SLS. It is a luxury collection Marriott in the city of Los Angeles. This is the room behind me right now. And I will show you all of the clips that I took here and insert them and tell you about the features. So in case you wanna stay at this hotel or that you just wanna travel along with me, you will see everything. And if it's your first time on this channel, hello, my name is Karina. Welcome, I make videos about essentially money, woman, and power, and I have a program that will be a stepping stone for you to become the best version of yourself. You can check it down below or go to intomillilady.com slash program. I'm always adding new modules there, so check those out. So where are we today we are in los angeles and this hotel is quite nice i really love it for the natural lighting component of it as you can see well i have a ring light in front of me but there is a large window in front of me and this room is very nice and light and i like rooms that have kind of a lot of natural light coming into them so i've stayed at a lot of hotels in los angeles and i'm really really liking this one so the only thing is right now it's that season of situations going on in the world so this hotel is quite empty i haven't really seen too many people everything is pretty much shut down i'll talk more about that later but the room itself is great to kind of stay in and get a lot of work done which is what exactly what i have been doing so anyways when you first walk into the hotel there is obviously valet and a really nice outdoor area a red carpet welcoming you into the lobby this is how the lobby looks like it used to be a bar and a restaurant in here back before everything went down and i don't think it fully got back up and running i was here one time when it was kind of happening and there was definitely more people but the times that i've actually stayed at this hotel both times even about when i stayed here maybe five months ago too and it was pretty much just as quiet as it is now so the lobby is very nice they have random animal statues and it's very cool hip vibe it almost kind of reminds me of the vibe in w hotels but just a little bit more brighter in terms of natural light the reception area is here and then there's elevators to take you up to your room there are a lot of rooms here and the hallways are large and this is the uh, account of how this room looks like. I'm showing you, you can see it pretty much behind me and also in the videos that I have taken. So the bed is really nice and spacious. There's an outdoor terrace, which is nice to eat lunch in or do some work as well before it gets too chilly. There's a nice size TV over here with some channels. There's a lot of closet space too. Um, where you can hang your clothes there over here in this area um, but enough space to hang your clothes and I also like the fact that there is a nicely sized refrigerator and cupboard space so you can put and store some food in there which is what I have did there's it's a really convenient location so it's really close to CVS and a grocery store so it's really convenient to just go and grab something if you need it is a I wouldn't say it's walking distance, it's probably a driving distance. It's also really close to the Beverly Center, which is a indoor mall, which I haven't been in because I don't really wanna be around public too much, but it's right there. So this location is very good and it's a short Uber distance away from cool places if they were open. So the room also has a small kind of a desk, I would say it's a circular desk. I use it as a desk and also a lunch table. It's right in front of me and these are the chairs that are with it. And then it has this uh, kind of lounge area, I would say with two chairs and a mirror. It's, it makes the room look larger too with all the mirrors. The restroom too has sliding doors, which are mirrors. I think the restroom is really cool design. It's kind of a hip and dark in there with a lot of mirrors and a really cool bathtub. I love those bathtubs that are kind of um, longer and look very fancy. So it's a shower and a bathtub together. And there's also another vanity set outside the bathroom, which I took the little uh, makeup lamp from the restroom and I put it in that area. And it's a really comfortable place to do your makeup and it has a little hallway. But oh, overall, this room is quite spacious and I love it. I love the terrace outside and you can't get bored in this room if you are kind of um, working. Some of the other amenities that this place has that are pretty much closed is the gym, which I have not been in. I am not 
sure how it looks like so I can't comment too much. Usually I do like using the hotel gyms but this time I didn't because it's closed. It also has a spa so I actually saw the spa when I was kind of walking around so here's a clip of it. I'm not sure how it looks like or what's truly inside but there is one there. Another thing they have is a business center. It's quite small. Um, I know not all hotels have this service. When I did a review of the St. Regis in Aspen, they had a very large business center, many computers and a giant desk kind of at the front. But this one was a small one. And the thing is you had to pay to use the computer, which I thought, I don't know if that's common or not. Perhaps it is. That's how it works if you go to a FedEx or a place, but I'm not sure in hotels, but it's you pay for every 15 minutes, I believe. And you can also print whatever you need, but they will charge for that as well. So that's a cool thing to have. As far as anything else, right now they do offer in-room dining, but it is until 9.30 p.m. I haven't ordered anything from there, so I'm not exactly sure of how the whole situation is, but with everything going on around, it's everything in this city in Los Angeles is very limited. All restaurants are closed, everything's closed. It's not really a hot place to visit, nor would I recommend going to this time, but it used to be a very cool and happening city. I would be here a lot, a lot. And, I, and I'm here right now for just for a few days in the city, but I haven't been going anywhere out in public. So just doing the essential things that I need to do. But this is pretty much how it looks like. I do really like this hotel. I will review some other ones that are in this area in Los Angeles and also other ones. If you like this series, please let me know down in the comments below because I keep rolling out with these hotel reviews and I wish I had more to say, but I do, I will say that I do love pretty much most Marriott hotels. They're very comfortable. You can get be really productive. The internet is really great. I haven't had any problems with the internet or anything. And I was able to do exercise right there. I brought my yoga mat. So that's pretty much the only exercise I could do since everything around here is closed. So at least I I've been productive. Overall, I think it's a very beautiful room. In out there, outside of the terrace, there's actually a pool and I believe that's open until 6 p.m. I haven't been in there because I think it's a little too cold to go to the pool, but there is one in case some people do love that. So anyways, subscribe to this channel, like the video if you want more of these types of reviews. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts and any suggestions in the comments down below. Or if you want me to add anything else to this series, maybe kind of more of a travel vlog or something. But anyways, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next video.